Are you new to Google Ads or still trying to work out how this whole Google Ads thing works? Well, never fear because you are in the right place because right now I'm gonna show you the three things that you need to start on so that you can create successful Google Ads campaigns even when you're still learning how to use Google Ads. Now, Google Ads is easy to use in the fact that pretty much anyone can go into Google Ads and follow the step-by-step -step process to set up their first Google Ads campaign. But it does take a little bit of time to really understand how to best use Google Ads. And especially when you're learning, I would not be worrying about things like which is the best bidding strategy to use or what target ROAS or target CPA goal you should set. And if I've confused you even with those terms and you don't really know what they mean or how they work, don't worry because you will get to understand how some more advanced parts of Google Ads truly work. But in order to really understand the more advanced parts of Google Ads, you first need to get these three basics down pat and even if you focus on these three basics, pretty much any campaign will see improved results through you just focusing on these three areas. And the learning is gonna start right now. The three areas that you need to focus on when you're just starting or even if you're a beginner at Google Ads is your keywords, your ad copy and your landing pages. And if you can get those three things honed in, you're already so far along the journey of seeing successful Google Ads campaigns, it's not funny. And even when I take on new Google Ads accounts or review existing Google Ads campaigns, they are the first three areas that I check. So that's how important it is to make sure that you've got your keywords, your ad copy and your landing pages set correctly and optimized in Google Ads. And because this video is aimed at people who are just starting in Google Ads, I wanna be as practical as possible. So we're gonna get into a screen share so that I can show you exactly in Google Ads how you focus on these three areas. But just before we get there, to help you, what I also wanna do is I wanna give you access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this is a tool which I've put together, which is great for beginners, but it's also something that I used as in advanced Google Ads management. And what this checklist does is that this checklist not only breaks down all of the individual different optimization actions that you need to complete, in a Google Ads campaign, but it also lets you know how often you need to complete those actions. Because there are some actions in Google Ads which you wanna be doing a couple of times a week, and then there's other optimization actions that you only wanna be doing every two or three months. So that you know which are the correct optimization actions you need to focus on every time you're reviewing your Google Ads campaigns, just follow that link in the description below, and that way you can get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And now I wanna to get to the second part of this teaching, and as I said, we're gonna jump into a screen share so I can show you how to review and complete the optimization actions that are required around these three areas of your keywords, your ad copy, and your landing pages. Let's go. All right, so when you're in Google Ads, I want you to go into one of your individual campaigns. And in this example, I'm gonna be taking you through a search campaign. Now, that is because I would recommend that you do start with a Google search campaign. And at the end of this video, I'll also show you a link where I give down my reasons for why you used to start with search. And then you can see from here, I've gone into one of my individual campaigns and we're in one of our ad groups. And the first area you want to go to is you wanna be completing a process which is called a search term audit. And this is what you do to review your keywords. Now, what I wanna stress here is that we're not talking about the keywords which you are targeting in your campaign. Campaign, we're actually talking about the search terms. And what the difference is here is that the keywords are the keywords which are the ones that you've entered and you've said to Google, these are the ones that you wanna target. Whereas your search terms are the actual search terms which users are using which are triggering your ads. So what the process is here is that we wanna go through and review this list and we're gonna be doing two core actions. The first one is, is that we wanna go through and see are there any search terms which are not relevant, and then we wanna add them as negative keywords. So I'm just going to go through this list, and I do this in two ways. Firstly, I just go through this list, and I can see some here which are not relevant, and what you do is you select them, and then once you've selected them, you just go in and you add them as a negative keyword. And now, the next part of the process, which you wanna be going through and doing, is that I generally go through and filter this down by conversions, and what I'm looking for here is, are there any search terms 
terms which are converting, which we haven't actually targeted yet. So essentially what we're looking here is are there any search terms which users are using, which we also wanna add into the list of keywords that we're targeting. And I can see one in here. Now, when I do go through and add in these keywords, I will add them as a exact match keyword. And the reason for this is because I've already got some broad match keywords. I generally have about two or three in my ad group. And then I'm going through and adding in extra exact match keywords, which are just slightly different variants, but they're still very much on the same keyword theme. So that's how you complete that first action reviewing your keywords. Remembering what the goal is here, the main goal is that you wanna remove any wastage. So what you're looking at doing is adding in those negative keywords to stop your ads appearing on search terms which are not relevant. So that's the first area we focus on, our keywords. The second area that we wanna focus in on is our ad copy. So you can see in here, you wanna go down to campaigns, then you'll see these options of campaigns, ad groups, or ads, and we're going into ads. Now, I'm showing you a good, just under 12 months of data, and what you can see through here is we've got a whole heap of different ads that we've been running. Actually, I'll break this out to two years of data. So this is quite a mature account that we've been going through. And as you can see, we've got all of the different ad split tests that we've been running. But what I wanna show you here is, I'm just gonna change this to, we've only got enabled ads, is at any given time, you only wanna have two ads running in your ad group. But if I take this off here, but you can actually see that over this period, you can see all of the different ad copies that we've been running and testing. The other thing that you'll see through here as well, is that if we filter this down, you can see that our cost per conversion when we were starting this process was above $50. But where we're running at now at the end of this period, you can see that we got that cost per conversion down to $27. So just by running this ad copy testing process, we we're able to really lower our acquisition costs. And now what I've just done, I've just gone through and changed the date range just so we're looking at the, the last little bit of data. You can see we've just started a new ad copy test. And what I really wanna break down, what we're looking at doing in here is this test is still running because this secondary ad has only got 14 impressions. So it doesn't have anywhere near enough data. But what we've got through here is we've got two different ads. And what's really important is that we're only testing one core difference at the time. So this top ad was an ad which has won some different levels of previous testing. And what we had here is we've got a dynamic keyword insertion pinned into position one. And, and then everything else from there is really, really open. But what this second ad is testing is this second ad is testing the difference of what happens if we have a call to action pinned into position two. So you can see if you just watch through here, regardless of which ad is shown, you can see we're also testing this call to action. So what we're wanting to do in here is we're wanting to see, does this ad have a better result if we lock in a call to action in headline two? We don't know yet, so we're waiting to see the data. Now, one thing that I would say in here is I'm, I'm not too phased about these different ad strengths. And what I'll just show you in through here, let's go and look at some longer term data again. What I wanna do is just want to highlight two of these. This is one that was paused. It had an ad strength of good. And this one above here, which only had an ad strength of average, actually had a much better conversion rate. And this one was converting at $48 a conversion. This one is at $27. So that is a common thing that I do get questioned about all the time is that how relevant is this ad strength? And, and I mean, some could argue that it is potentially important in the first sort of 30 days of a brand new campaign. But really, once you've already got an established campaign, what becomes more important is your click-through ratio. So how many people are clicking on your ads versus how many are seeing them and your conversion metrics. So your cost per conversion and your conversion rate. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to these ad strength markers. Just as a wrap up, what you wanna be doing there is that you wanna just be having two ads running at the same time. Once we get data on this one, what we'll do is we will choose which ad is performing better by the click-through ratio and the conversion metrics. And then we'll pause the ad which is losing and then introduce a new ad to check the conversion rates. And as I said from there, over a 12 month period, we're able to bring down that conversion metrics from $52 a conversion down to $25 a conversion with one of the main drivers being our ad copy testing. Now that's the process of how you go through and review and optimize your keywords and your ad copies. Now, when it comes to your landing pages, the reason for why this is so important is because even if you've got the most highly targeted keyword traffic and the best ad copy, if you're sending people to a landing page, which does not convert, you are just gonna be wasting money. And because this is such a really big topic, because there's five core elements that you need to have right on your landing pages, what I want you to do is I want you to go into this video right here, and this breaks down the top five things that you need to be doing to get high converting landing pages. And the great thing about this video is that it is all data-based. And the things that I share in there is from over 10,000 different user tests. And you may also remember that in that video, I gave a strong recommendation 
recommendation to start with search. And if you'd like to find out more of the reasons for why I recommend that, go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. See ya.